chat gpt has introduced code interpreter and it is much more capable than we can think of it can interpret images it can convert your image into gifs it can also create slideshow from the images you provide to it it can also analyze the large very large amount of data and we can extract some useful insights from it so let me just demonstrate how we can do it first of all you have to have chat gpt4 subscription that is chat gpt plus and you need to switch to gpt4 and click over here code interpreter okay so once this is enabled now there will be a button of plus which is useful for uploading a file from our computer so i will click over here and upload an image okay so this is the image which i want to manipulate with now this is a very beautiful image having some vibrant colors so i want to make it gray scale so what i can do i can just give a prompt like make this image black and white and just hit enter or click over here now this will literally create my image to black and white it will running some python code if we want to see how it works this is the code it has gone through and it has done finishing i have converted the image to black and white you can download it using the link below so literally it has came up with a download link and once i click over here i will be able to download the link and yes it is starting downloading yes i will open the image and let me uh, show you that how does it look see this is the image okay so this was previously a color image and it has converted it to black and white okay so that's great thing now uh, one more thing uh, we can manipulate uh, say for the example uh, again i will upload the same image by the way this was the image okay so this was the image i will again upload this image okay so it has been uploaded now i will tell chat gpt that detect face in this image and make a green box on face or around face just hit enter so again it will run a python code and let's just wait for the result so here it is running the script now here is again a beauty if it is not having some files that are needed to detect the face then it will automatically include those libraries and yes the image is ready to be downloaded and once again once it downloads i will open it yeah it's done so it has detected the face and it has created a green uh, box around the face now this is a hit and miss case but that's okay it understands what we are trying to say okay so this was one feature that is very much interesting now let's go to data analysis for example i have a file that is having some data i want to extract some data out of it for example i have a data of indian population which i have downloaded from kegel now i want to extract some insights out of these data now first of all i will just tell chat gpt to explain me that what data is about so i will say explain what is data set is about so it will go through the entire data and it will after going through all the data it will explain me in just few paragraphs or one paragraph that what is the data is about yeah so it is finished the data 
set provides detailed information about the population of India with each row corresponding to a different year. Here is a brief description of each column year in which the data is collected, population, the total population of India, percentage increase in population, the percentage increase in population compared to the previous year. Okay, so it has explained me each column and it is also continuing generating the response. Yeah. So please note that some entries are marked as null, which likely means that the data for those entries was not available or not applicable. Now also you can clean data means uh, clean the data with the help of chat GPT. Now I also can ask that how clean the data is. And it will come up with the result that if the data is clear or it is needed to be clear. The data set does not have any missing values or duplicate rows, which is a good sign of cleanliness. However, there were some null entries visible when we displayed the first few rows of the data set. This could mean that some data points are missing or not applicable and they have been labeled as null instead of the traditional NAN values that Pandas recognizes. Okay. So uh, let me just ask ChatGPT to give us some insights in visual form. So uh, give me five visuals that draws insights from this data set. Now it will come up with the results in a form of charts. Okay, now this is very beautiful and amazing and powerful thing that ChatGPT has introduced via code interpreter. I think ChatGPT is on war with everybody. In future, it will also come up with image generations as well. Now, let's just see what is ChatGPT doing. Yeah. So literally it creates some plots. See, convert the percentage columns to string. So it is running some code and the plot one is population over time. Plot number two is increase in population over time. Plot three is urban population percentage of total population over time. Plot number four is rural population of the total population over time. And plot five is life expectancy over time. So it is a great insights. See, population over time. So it is being increased. Now here it is written 1e9. What does that mean? Tens to the power. So here is this point, tens to the power of 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1.4. 1 and these are the great data, increase on population over the time. So population is being decreased. See, percentage of increase is decreasing over time. After year around 1985, it is decreasing over the period of time. Next is urban population percentage of total population over the time. So people are migrating. Okay, so these are also some great insights. See, next one is rural rural population percentage of total population over time. So it is so people are migrating from rural to urban. So these are the great insights. Life expectancy over the time. So it is being increased. Okay, so these are the five visualizations drawn from the data set. So it is also explaining. For example, things graph shows that the change in the percentage of total population that lives in urban areas means chart number three. The percentage has been increased over time, which indicates urbanization. Okay. Conversely, this graph shows that change in percentage of total population that lives in rural area. So decrease in that graph indicates again urbanization. Okay. So life expectancy. This graph shows how the average life expectancy has changed over the years. There is a clear upward trend indicating that life expectancy in India has been increasing. Right? That's a great. So now we will ask chat GPT that can you predict how much population will be in 2050 or 2030? Let's ask. Predict or can you predict 
population of India in 2050. Sure, we can try to predict the population of India by 2050. It is important to note that such predictions are always approximate and depend on many factors that, that yes, that's true. They are best guessed based on available data and assumptions made by the model. That's correct. So it's working and it has came up with the result. The linear regression model of predicts, um, model predicts that the population of India will be approximately 1.894 billion in the year 2050. Okay, so it can predict, literally predict from the data. Okay, so this is the power of chat GPT's code interpreter. Even we can analyze a very, very large amount of data. Okay, so let's again work on an image. Let's upload this image. Okay, so it has already been uploaded. Why? Because it is already in the, those data in this particular chat. So I will ask to create a GIF from this image. Uh, next, I will say it should zoom out the time should be five seconds and frame rate should be 30 FPS. Okay. Yeah. So it will uh, literally come up with the GF. It can, it, will, it can also create some slideshow. If you provide five, 10 to 15 images in a zip file, it is also able to create a slideshow from those images. You can literally ask chat GPT to show a particular image or each image for three to five seconds or whatever the time you want. So it has came across some error. It appears that we ran out of memory. Okay, not an issue. Let's try reducing the frame rate. So this is the genius of chat GPT. It has automatically reduced the frame rate to make it more size friendly. Okay. So, okay. So it has also again came up with the result. Can't directly provide GF with request in this environment. If you have any other requests or questions, feel free. So what is the issue? In one more resource reach environment, okay. The approach we discussed would be appropriate. So it has ran out of memory. Let me just again copy this prompt, go to new chat, and again I will upload those image and give the same prompt, but let me just reduce the time to 2.3 sacks. I'm sorry. So I will reduce the time to 2.3 sacks and the frame rate should be 10 FPS. Okay, let's just create the GIF with the help of code interpreter. So it is also explaining that how to do it step by step, load the image, generate the series of images, compile these images into GIF. Okay. So it is now generating the zoom out frames. Now this can also crop the image. That is also possible. If you want to crop any image or you can rotate, even you can rotate the images. You can flip the sides of the images as well. Okay, so it has finished generating the GIF. GIF has been successfully created and saved as zoom out GIF. Let me just show you. Yeah, so it has downloaded. So it has created a beautiful zoom out animation. Let me just share my screen. Yeah, so it is done. So you can always modify that. I don't want this kind of zoom out. I want to zoom in and the face should be at the, in the last frame. So this is possible with the help of chat GPT code interpreter. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. So this was about the code interpreter. If you want to know about more other AI tools like this, or you want to make yourself 
10x more efficient and productive at your workplace. Join our two hours workshop in which we are covering many such AI tools and make you 10x more efficient. Link in description. Thank you.